Got a shot of straw on the ballin' Tell me you're the spy as a coolin' Let me let it slide as you cool Hey my loves! Welcome back to the channel! Today I am going to customize my self care binder and I do want to let you guys know that these will be available on my website soon. So pretty soon you will be able to own one. <laughs> okay, so this binder is basically a personal binder. It's everything self care, everything for me. And I am a mom, I do have a daughter. And I feel like sometimes we lose ourselves, you know, like we spend so much time taking care of our babies or kids and you know, we ha also have other things going on, especially if you live with a man or you're married, you know, if you go to school, you have a job, we have a lot of things going on and sometimes we do forget to take care of ourselves. So I personally wanted to make a self care binder for all my beautiful baddies out there so it's just gonna be like a reminder for you to take care of yourself it's pretty straightforward um i kind of don't like to do too much sometimes because i feel like i go over the top <laughs> sometimes so i do want to keep it cute and simple so let me tell you guys how i did this this is so cute to me at least um, I did this on Canva. It was pretty simple. I literally just pulled up a blank letter um, sized page and I found a font that I love. I typed the word self care and a little heart in between and I just printed this out on a pink cardstock paper. I feel like I wanted the pink to kind of match this pink on the edge of the binder. And then as for my envelopes, if you guys are, interest, are interested in seeing how I made these, I do have a video on my channel on how to make your own clear envelopes. You guys can check that video out. But in today's video, we are focusing on customizing my little self-care binder. So let's get started. I pre-did these because I already made a video on doing it. I feel like I didn't really want to come back in this video and do it again, if you know what I mean. So right now we're focusing on the binder. I want to also say that I have this glitter paper. I'm going to show you guys. I was contemplating on if I should add this cute, whoops, this cute little glitter paper into whatever i got going on here um i don't know yet i feel like i want to keep it baby pink you know i don't know do i want to this is really beautiful i wish that you guys could really see this in person because i feel like the light and the camera is just not giving this a lot of justice <laughs> but in person omg so beautiful I got this at Hobby Lobby, by the way, it was like $1.99. They have lots and lots of beautiful papers, cardstock papers there that you guys can use to design and create your binders to fit you. So check them out. I was kind of think, thinking probably I should cut this out and make this kind of like, you know, like the edge. I don't know if y'all seeing the vision. So I did print two so we could see how it was gonna look. You know what I mean? So I did print two just so we can see if it's gonna be cute or we're gonna just scrap it and just do it single by itself. So let's get started, I'm excited. I'm super excited, let's get started. First, I want to cut off I'm gonna cut this in half so I could put up my, you know, my backup one just in case plan A fail, I have a plan B. So my boyfriend is here in the room with me. So if you guys hear a little, any little noises or Jonas, he's so extra y'all. If y'all, I was about to say, if y'all hear any noises or whatever, just know that it's him, but he done made himself erred. So I'm just gonna cut this in half. And we're going to experiment with this piece and we're gonna keep this just in case this fails, we can run back on this one. So I'm gonna put that to the side 
and I personally love to do that I feel like <laughs> I feel like you should always have a backup especially when creating stuff on your own and doing craft things tend to be failing okay and I just don't want to go back again and have to do over back a whole step so I'm just like let me just create two just in case one fail I still have the other one going what I was thinking is see this is not really that big it's really small I'm thinking to run self-care so probably cut like a really let's see let's cut it this way that way we have more so I'm just gonna cut it straight down the middle like in half straight down the middle and I'm gonna put up this piece so we're only gonna use this and the length of this is typically around here Okay, so this is way too broad, so we're gonna make it a little more narrow. I really, I'm, I really don't have no measurements for this. I'm just kind of winging it, like I do everything. I literally wing every single thing. Like, <laughs> I'm lazy, y'all. I just don't have the time to be measuring stuff. So this looks pretty good to me. Looks like a pretty good matchup. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm thinking, cut self care vertically and run it down the middle and y'all y'all get it do y'all get it let's see remember we can experiment all we want because we have our backup so if it fails it's cool we do have a backup okay so i'm gonna cut out self here like this and i'm gonna match it up with this paper y'all see what i'm saying now run self-care in the middle and have the glitter paper as a background because the glitter paper it is given baby it is given so we have to keep in consideration the edge because we're gonna have to poke a hole so is it that i want to run it like kind of closer to the end you get what i'm saying y'all you guys will see y'all gonna see the vision listen there is a method to all of my madness, okay? Okay, so I think I like it like this. So I'm going to cut off the excess. I think this is good. So let's cut off the excess edge that we have going on here. Okay. And then we're gonna turn it around. Try to keep it in one place. <laughs> oh my god! And we're gonna cut up the excess. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all, I'm in love with this glitter. I am so in love. I wish you guys could like really see it. But anyways. Now, let me hole punch it before I do anything else. Sometimes the hole punch will be getting on my last nerves. So now I'm gonna hole punch. See, it always gets stuck on these glitter papers. Always. When it gets stuck, y'all, I literally just do this. Get my scissors and just push it open. See, easy, right? There we have it, it is hole punched. I want to set it up in the binder because I kind of want to see this video is gonna be real quick dang uh, I'm almost done I want to set it up in the binder because I want to see how how to put let's see let's see how it looks first like do we need to cut off anything or is it perfectly fine guys we do need to cut y'all see it it's like it's more left at the edge like when you put it into the whole thing it kind of slides it out so we're going to cut off that excess that's hanging out at the edge like i said i really don't use measurement i just kind of wing it so i am just going to cut off this let's try it again see how it fits always remember remember to put it in there and make sure that you close it see now it looks better but i do feel like a little bit more needs to come off of the bottom 
So I'm gonna take off a little piece from the bottom. If y'all could see this, I'm gonna turn the lights down when I'm done so y'all could really see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now it's perfect. What I wanna do now is I wanna line up self-care with it like this and I want to see how it's gonna look to know exactly if self-care is good right there. Oh yes, baby. This is so cute. <laughs> Guys, this is cute. Oh my God. This skill, this skill, this skill is real. I'm gonna take my Gorilla Glue and I'm just gonna Gorilla Glue this thing on because I don't want it to move. I want it to stay there and not go anywhere. I was thinking either to run it down the middle like this or keep it at the edge, but I think I like it at the edge like this. So I'm gonna keep it at the edge. I think there's a little bit more excess that needs to be cut off at the top. go and then now we're going to gorilla glue it so let me apply some gorilla glue to the back of the paper oh my god it's leaking through this might not be a good idea probably I should have used paper glue by the way does gorilla glue even work on paper I don't know we better find out today I can see it peeking through. Oh, see it? It's peeking through the top. What type of dumb idea was this? I wasn't thinking, was I? But this is so cute though. If I could really get this to work, it would be amazing. The Gorilla Glue is not a good idea. I'm trying to think what can I do to get this to be sealed onto. I have another glue, let me try it. I do have a paper glue, but that's if I can find it. The thing is, it's re it really sticked great at the top. It's just like, it kind of makes a mess. Like, oh, are there? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if I put it on the glitter paper and not like on this paper itself? Like, how would it look? <gasps> Guys. It looks better. I can't really see it. Y'all see? I can't see it when I put it on the glitter paper first. I don't see it, but it's like when I put it on this paper first, that's when I really see it. Y'all think I should redo it or just leave it? Oh, so cute! I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna redo it because I know myself. I will not, I will start to not like it because that thing is there. So I'm just gonna cut out another, see? Here comes my backup, coming in super, super handy. Okay, so we going to cut this. We're gonna do this again, guys. <laughs> We're gonna do this again. So let me just cut out my thingy. Now I know, put the glue on the glitter paper first. So let's cut this out. We're gonna try, we're gonna attempt to do this again. It's super cute though, it came out so cute. I think this is how I wanna do it to sell it, but I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna have to make sure that my glue doesn't peep through, which is not peeping through at the bottom if y'all see. But at the top it peaked when I put the glue on the other paper first. So let me hole punch this. Sometimes when you hole punch, you have to make sure you check front and back. See, it's stuck again. Every time I hole punch on this paper, every time I hole punch on this paper, it gets stuck. But when it's stuck, I just use my scissors, push it back through. 
Okay, y'all. So now, <laughs> now we are going to go for our little or plan B. So it's a good thing we had plan B. So we running for our plan B and we're gonna cut out plan B. And we gonna cut out plan B. And we gonna cut out plan B. I love the idea though. It's coming together. I hope you guys like it. I think it's cute personally. I think it's amazing. <gasps> oh my god, I almost cut that thing. Okay, so cut off the excess. Turn it around, cut off the excess. I'm trying, while I'm doing this, I'm trying to think about another way to do it. To have the self-care stick onto this. While, while I'm here cutting, I'm thinking about another way because I know when I'm about to make bulk of them, I know this is gonna be like ugh, giving me trouble. And I am not here for the trouble at all. Not at all. Cut off the excess out here. All right, so this is our plan two. Plan B, I mean, my bad. So now, let's take our time and approach this properly. So now we're gonna use our Gorilla Glue and we are going to go, ah, I wish I could tell. Hold on, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna put a line like this here that way I can use my marker and mark on it to like kind of guide me on where to put the glue. So let's see. I want it to be like this at the edge. So glue goes here, to here, here, to here. Okay. Now, let's take it off. Okay, let's do it. Let's try to go like with a thin amount so it doesn't really seep through, if you know what I mean. I'm just gonna try to flat it out. gonna flat it out y'all I, I don't know what the hell I just did but now let's see you know it's gorilla glue you gotta be careful guys guess what it worked almost had a heart attack let us let it dry a little bit before we start you know messing with it and have it like move around and stuff but it worked y'all let me turn the lights down so y'all could kind of see it look, what it looks like this is what it looks like y'all see it's like glitter paper oh my god it's this cute look at this my boyfriend laughing at me. <laughs> I'm so excited it worked. Oh my God, y'all. Y'all see that glitter just seeping through? I'm loving this. I'm loving this. So I'm gonna turn my light back up so y'all can see clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is down. I can't believe that worked. So I actually could do them like that. Yay. So now I'm gonna just put my categories in. Like I told you, if you guys wanna know how to bake these, the video is on the channel. And by the way, for my categories, I have shopping, I have my birthday, 
Yeah, turn up. Yeah. I have massage. I have my lashes. I have facial. Because I like facials. I have my hair. And I do have my nails. So these are my self-care categories. I'm going to add them into my binder. And I think that should be dry by now, but uh, I'm so nervous. Let it just rest a little bit more. <laughs> let it rest. Oh, let it rest. Okay, so envelopes are in. Looks amazing. And then now we could attack this piece. Oh, guys, it's dry. Oh, why did I close this? Okay, hold on. Let me put facial then here. Okay, hair then facial, my bad. And then I could put nails. Then now we're going to add this piece to seal the deal. Close it up and voila. Our self-care binder is complete. <laughs> I was thinking if I should make one for the back part, but then I was like, that's too much work. That is too much work. Do I want to do all this? No. So this is it, guys. This is how it looks. I love it. I don't know about you, but I love it. Open it up. We have nails. Facial. Hair, lashes, massage, my birthday, and shopping. So the ones that I'm going to sell on my website is going to have similar categories like this, but a little bit more diff. Uh, I think there's a few categories that are different from the ones that I've put in here. But it's basically the same idea. So you guys just need to watch out for the self-care binders that I'm going to put on my website for sale. They are coming. You guys are going to love them. I think they're super cute. And this is exactly how the front's gonna be. <laughs> and the envelopes. It's basically the self-care binder. It's just me doing one for me. So you guys look out for them. They're coming. And I want you guys to purchase one. I mean, only if you want to. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. And thank you for the support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. I used to work the day away. I figured I could maybe pave away. No, it's niggas account the